Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, members, for your patience today in listening to us because, unfortunately, this has, this has gotten personal. And we don't want it any more than you do. I really wish I didn't have to speak against this bill. This bill is about religious freedoms already protected in the United States Constitution. As a Catholic, as an American, as a Texas legislator who happens to be gay, these days are really weird for me. It's hard to reconcile any anti-gay bill with the good and decent people that I know each of you to be. I know you care especially about Texas children. Our collective focus this session on their well-being has been evident. Children's safety, the quality of children's education, but members, it is Texas children who I am most concerned with today. You may not think you are harming children with this bill, but you are. I'm tired of this. When you see a child on the street without a place to call home, there is a 40% chance that that child is gay. And we know through our work to protect children that not every child in Texas has a safe and loving home. And when you layer the possibility that a child, child may be LGBTQ, life just gets a little more difficult. When you hear of a child taking their own life, the chances are very high that that child took their life because of issues surrounding their sexuality. Texas is represented on the floor of these chambers, of this chamber. Texas is also back home in your, in your district. Nacogdoches, Amarillo, Lubbock, El Paso. There are children in every corner of our state they are in the church choir. They grew up loving Jesus, knowing that Jesus loved them back. There are young boys and girls out there who are just, they're just trying to be kids. There are girls who just want to play basketball and wear high tops and they don't want to wear frilly dresses. There are boys who maybe lie about having girlfriends because they really have a crush on the captain of the football team but they're afraid to be their true selves. They may be bullied. They may or may not be accepted by their parents. Unfortunately, some of them were taught that if they didn't fit the mold, they were sinners. Some parents go to the drastic step of hiring licensed professionals to claim they can convert that kid. They literally say, I can fix your kid. We can pray away the gate. And I mention these young Texans because they are watching us. I guarantee you they are watching us right now. By allowing this bill onto the House floor, you are giving sanction to those who would make these kids feel less than, or weird, or different, or pushed around the school gym, shunned at the school cafeteria, or worse. Let's not sanction this stuff by adding salt to the wound by actually passing this bill. I hope those kids are watching today. I hope their parents are watching today. I hope they know that we love them, and that's why we're making these speeches. Because this bill is going to pass, let's face it, it's been cloaked in religious freedom. But the genesis and the nexus of this bill is, is, is in hatred. The rote and the form emails that I am getting are referencing Christianity and gender uh, discrimination, sexual orientation discrimination. I thank God that as a young girl attending Our Lady at Mount Carmel, the nuns were more concentrated on me learning the basics rather than making me feel worse or different than I already felt. Somehow, through my Catholic upbringing, I learned that God doesn't make junk. Some of these children are finding the strength to say, as I never did as a young age, at a young age, at a young age, mom, dad, I'm gay. 
I hope we allow safe and open spaces for families to have these conversations without allowing a small group of professionals, especially licensed professionals, to make these kids feel less than. I need you, both my Democratic and Republican colleagues, to stand with me in support of the health and safety of LGBTQ children. I've been thinking a lot about uh, one particular song, and I may be the first person to quote Lady Gaga on the House floor. I'm beautiful in my own way, she says, because God makes no mistakes. Rejoice and love yourself today, baby, because you were born this way. We were born this way. And all we want to do is pass legislation and work with you on the various committees and represent the House of Representatives. I ask you to vote no on Senate Bill 78. 1978. Thank you.